everyone, Mark the Movie Man here, Final Cut. And you know what, about six, seven months ago, I did this Oscar and you reviewer prediction thing where I had consequences, where I had to watch really bad films uh, picked by other you, uh, you reviewers out there, and I had to watch them, and depending on uh, how many I got wrong was how many I had to watch. Well, it was total seven between the two specials, and I realized I've only done two so far, and... Well, to catch up on that and show you I do not break my promise, though it takes me a very long time to get there, we will be reviewing one of those Consequence movies today, and this one was recommended by the Schmoes, yes, the hardest working gentleman in the U universe, or a couple of the hardest working gentlemen, I will say. These guys are all over the place, lots of success, and they were kind enough to make the suggestion, or unkind enough to make the suggestion of Freddy Got Fingered, Tom Green, directing and co-writing this comedy about an unemployed animator who uh, fails miserably trying to get his big break so he goes back home and realizes his parents may be throwing him out so he starts spreading a nasty rumor that his dad is sexually abusing his his younger brother in order to get him to stay and take care of his brother <laughs> child sexual abuse is so funny not I, I, you know I now, I will admit that I never really cared for Tom Green's comedy. I never really thought him funny. So going into this already, I, I kind of knew what to expect. But, oh my God! I mean, the only good thing he did in this film was Drew Barrymore. Uh, you know, I mean, you've got, and you've got some classic comedic uh, uh, chops in here. you got Rip Torn in here. you had Anthony Michael Hall. you had Julie Haggerty, all who can carry a uh, comedy joke and scene really well. And even them, they try to make the best, but they just can't because this writing is all relying on just shock humor and not really good shock humor. And maybe that was his goal, just to shock you, just to come out with the most outrageous crap and put it on screen just so that you could uh, tear into it. I don't know, okay, but from him covering himself in the carcass of a deer to him helping along a horse in fertility, uh, more or less, you get the point, to, to crawling around with cheese and acting in his basic Tom Green way. Uh, you know, I just tried, but I didn't really find any bits of this film funny at all. I found it painful, okay? Rack me over hot coals and make me watch Nine Cat for six hours. Please don't. But I would do that rather than watch this film again. Now, there's people that rave that this film is hilarious. This is great. And that's great. Comedy is definitely, you know, dependent on your tastes of humor. But for me, this film was definitely a painful consequence movie. As you imagine, nothing, no rating on this. I'm not going to watch it again. And in fact, thinking about it now, I'm trying to cleanse the mind's eye. Because, you know, Tom Green was kind of humorous in smaller roles. But taking this lead role, writing it completely, and just going so over the top shock humor to the point of you really can't laugh because there's really nothing to laugh about because you're just sitting there going did I just see them do that y you know I mean but if you do like some shock comedy you know you may enjoy it otherwise uh, it's not worth your time folks and I definitely was a well-deserved uh, consequence film and that'll about do it for us here at the final cut Till next time keep it